Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on status grades regarding premium versus freemium, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard. This question has been asked in Microsoft interviews and is a great question to solve if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, or data analyst roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the total number of downloads for paying and non-paying users by date. Include only records where non-paying customers have more downloads than paying customers. The output should be sorted by earliest date first and contain three columns, date, non-paying downloads and paying downloads. So basically we are given three different data frames, MS user dimension, MS account dimension, and MS download facts and expected output is a pandas data frame with three columns, date, no, so basically not paying and yes. Now, uh, if we you know go and preview the three data frames that we have been given, so MS user dimension has two columns, user ID and account ID. Then we have MS account dimension, so account ID and paying customers. So obviously these two could, could be merged on account ID to know which user is a paying customer or not a paying customer, right? And then uh, we have a third uh, table or data frame called MS download facts, which has user ID and the number of downloads on a given date, right? So basically this information is scattered in three different uh, data frames. So the obviously the first step should be, uh, you know, to merge everything. And since for each of the date, we, uh, you know, need to total the sum of downloads for paying and non paying customers. So basically we should start with MS download facts, right? So what we can do is we can start with it, right? So let's create one uh, table or one data frame. So basically let's say merged one, right? So MG one is a data frame where we are basically merging. So pandas dot merge the first table so ms download facts and then here we have user id right so user id and account dimension does not have user id so we cannot merge it with account dimension directly so we need to merge it with the first table ms user dimension right so comma ms user dimension and since both of these tables or data frames has same column name user id on which we are merging we can just simply write on is equal to user id and how we want to merge left join right because we are concerned about the dates or everything that is there in ms download facts so how is equal to left okay let me run this let's see if this worked okay so this is a merge and we have date user id downloads from the uh, ms download facts and account id from the uh you know uh ms user dimension so once we have this then what we can do is we can you know mg1 use this mg1 and merge it again back to account dimension because we want to know that which of these users are paying customer or not so what we can do is we can simply do mg2 is equal to basically pandas dot merge and then mg1 and then the second one is ms account dimension right ms account dimension again uh, since both of these so now this mg1 has user id and uh, account id and ms account dimension has account id so and we are merging it on account id so they have it so we can simply write on is equal to account id and again how is equal to left join right okay let me you know uh, again run this let's see if the merge happened this time so yeah uh, so now you have paying customer versus non-paying customer. So now you have date, user ID, downloads, account ID, and paying customer. Now, from here, what you can do is we can think of, okay, so for every date, we need to make sure that paying customer, how many downloads they had, non-paying customer, how many downloads they had. And once we have that, then we need to make sure that we are only including those dates where the number of downloads by non-paying customer is greater than the number of downloads by paying customer, right? So here, what might come to your mind is, okay, so the obvious way is for each date and paying customer, we need it, right? So we, we would be like, okay, let me group by, right? Let me, but you know, there is a better way to do this by using, like instead of using group by, I will just let you know, right? So, but let, let, let for the moment, you know, go ahead with group by. So let's group by, and since we are grouping by two columns, right? So provide a list, so date, and then paying customer, right? So paying 
customer uh wait date and then paying customer okay so we group by this and then obviously we need to calculate the sum from the downloads right because for every date and the type of customer we need to say okay how many total downloads so from the column downloads right from the column down, down, downloads we just write sum and since we grouped by and we need it as column so we can simply write reset index right now let me go ahead and run this right so now once we run this so we have okay for each of these dates so paying customer no yes total downloads right similarly for all the dates so once you have this then what you need is basically this is not the expected output right if you look at the expected output it is basically kind of a pivot table where on this uh, date and then no or yes big basically becomes the column and whatever your total downloads is it comes uh, is populated in that particular row now to proceed further right because we need this as no and yes one way you can do is so firstly let me you know uh, store this in a data frame called uh, df so now what we can do is we can you know break this data frame into two parts one where the paying customer is no so all the no's and then one with paying customer yes and then we merge it back so that we have the values of downloads as columns in that particular case right so what we can do is we can write let's say df no is equal to firstly you know do the boolean indexing so df of paying customer equal equal to right so equal equal to no right uh and then let me uh write okay so df no let me run this let's see what we are having so you have only the no parts right and we can you know rename the downloads to the no one because now basically these values are what these are the number of downloads for non-paying customers so we can simply write dot rename and then what do we need to rename columns is equal to and then we can provide the key value pair so change the name from downloads to no right change the name from uh, downloads to no uh, let me again run this let's see if the it was replaced okay so now you have it so similarly you can do this entire thing for uh, df yes as well right so for the yeses part so paying customers again copy it here right so copy this paste it here uh, and then change the nos to yes again yes right uh and okay so let me go ahead and run this so we have the same thing for yeses as well uh okay so now once we have it then what we can do is we can basically uh you know so for each of the dates you have the paying part as well as the non-paying customers the total number of downloads so finally what we can do is we can merge them right so final is equal to pandas dot merge and uh, you can merge the first one df no and df yes but uh, it also has an extra column paying customer yes or no so which we actually don't require in the output right so there is no paying customer column in this so we just have no or yes and then the number of downloads so basically what you can do is uh, so data frame and then only keep certain columns right so keep the date df no so right so basically df no first so date and then the second one is no Right. Similarly, if I just copy it and paste it uh, around there, so but it should be yeses. So only keep the two columns, and then on is equal to date. Right. So on is equal to date. Uh, let me go ahead and run this. So basically, this will do an inner join, and that is what we need. Right. Why? Because we need. Uh, because we also need to compare the nos with yeses. Right. So if you have value in no but not in yes, so you cannot compare. Right. Okay. So now you have date, nos, and yeses. So now what you need to do is. You also need to make sure that we are only keeping only those rows where the non-paying is greater than the paying part, right? So output should be uh, okay where uh, the include only records where non-paying customers have more downloads than paying customer. So basically, you can do a, another bullet indexing such that you know uh, the no's part is greater than the final of yes part, right? Let me run this. 
okay so now we have it and uh, if you match it by uh, you know the expected output it is exactly the same so now we have arrived here but if you look at it right so after this right so these all these four five lines of code they can be you know uh, written in just simple one line so what remember the logic flow we grouped by and then what we did we did was you know we basically made two data frames for no's and yeses renamed the columns right and then fi we finally merged them back together uh, on date and also made sure that finally uh, you know the no's the uh, not paying customers downloads is more than customer download so what you can do is instead of doing all this this is basically a classic case of using pivot table right so what you can simply go ahead and do is is so let me you know simply write let's say df new right so df new uh let me you know firstly write the code and then i will replace it right so df new is equal to so the data frame that we have here is mg2 right so which it has the all the information so mg2 dot pivot table and then you can provide so index so basically grouped by what we grouped by the dates right so date and then paying customer basically becomes the no and yeses right so basically they become the columns so we write index is equal to date no and yes is what they are they became the columns right so we write columns is equal to paying customer right paying customer remember all these are the columns of mg2 right so after we perform the join so everything after this is like we are not taking it right so now once we have them then what is the values inside the downloads part right so values is equal to downloads column and what did we did for downloads we summed it up right so what is the aggregate function sum so we write ag func is equal to sum right is equal to sum okay and since we are pivot table so basically you are grouping by this date ones right so you need to reset index right reset index uh, and let me see df new what do we have here? okay so now you have the same thing that you were able to achieve right so whatever you were able to achieve by these four lines of code you are able to achieve it by just this one right so now once you have it then you can basically do the same thing that you did here right so df new df new uh, df new and then the column no should be greater than equal to d greater than a df new yes right uh, let me run this you are basically going to have the same thing same expected output as we have right before so let me go ahead and remove all this part right so now this is your final solution right let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it so you see like how you can use the pivot table and what how this is a classic case of you know using pivot table similarly let's go ahead and see how the corresponding solution looks like in mysql okay so if you look at the same question uh, same three different tables expected output is same as well non paying and paying uh, and then if you preview the three uh, tables you have basically the same stuff as well right uh, and then what we can do is basically we can uh, go ahead with the same approach right so firstly we merge the entire information at one place so from this table called ms download tracks let's uh, alias this as a uh, left to join which column has a user id right so ms download facts right so ms download facts it has two columns user id and user id is in the first one right so ms user dimension so ms user dimension let's alias this as b on a dot user id is equal to b dot user id and then again left to join the second table right so second table is ms account dimension so ms account dimension let's alias this as c and on b dot so b dot uh b is basically this one right so b dot account id is equal to c dot account id 
so b dot account id is equal to c dot account id and you know let's keep only whatever is required so for download facts you have date user id and downloads right so let's keep everything here so here we can write okay uh, a dot star so a date user id and downloads you have it from here right uh, from here you can have user id user id you already have so you only need the account id but account id you know is already in the this one right so you don't even need to keep anything from the this table right uh, so you can simply go ahead and write c dot star right uh, let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have okay so you have date user ids number of downloads account id and whether they are a paying customer or not so once you have this information then what we can do is we can save this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we can do is from this common table expression we can group by the dates right and then use the case when statements to basically get the total number of downloads for no as well as yes so what we can write is group by the date then let's return the date and then use the case when statement so case when paying customer is equal to no right then you take the value from the downloads column right downloads column else you take the value as zero since you started a case win statement you end it right and then basically you sum it up right sum this entire thing and alias this as so whatever is required in the output so basically they have non uh non paying right yeah so as non paying right similarly for paying part right so just copy it entire thing uh, right let's copy the entire thing here paste it and sum of case when so is equal to yes and it should be paying right uh, okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have okay so you have various dates and paying non-paying and paying downloads the total ones right but this is not we ex exactly what we need we need to only make sure that keep only those rows where non-paying is greater than paying so what we can do is let's save this part as well into a another common table expression so cte2 as and then again this entire thing goes into parentheses and then from this cte2 then we are only required to make sure to keep only those rows where non-paying is greater than equal to paying right return all the columns and order by right so order by the date in ascending order let me run this let's see what we have so now if we match it with expected output it is exactly the same let me go ahead and submit it as far as all the test cases so yeah, this is green and this is how you do it so yes not a very difficult question but yes it is somewhat lengthy so what we did was firstly we merged the entire information available to us at one place right from all these three tables or data frames then what we did was we basically tried to use pivot table in case of python to get the no's and yeses as columns uh, and get the total number of downloads in case of mysql we did we achieved the same thing using case when statements so yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.